welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my very first video of 2023. I have been away for a while, longer than I intended. I initially was going to take a brief break for the holidays, but then unfortunately I got sick, was sick for two weeks straight, couldn't catch a break, started to feel better only to catch another illness a week later and I'm still kind of recovering even from that illness. I'm just now starting to get my strength back and feel more like myself. So with that being said, here I am today. I thought I would pick up the camera and attempt to get back into filming. I am seriously so excited for the new year. I feel refreshed and in spite of all the illnesses to, that I had to kick off the new year, I'm, I'm just excited for what's in store for this new year and I hope you are too. I have a lot of ideas swirling around my head on you know, what I want, videos I want to film in this new year. And a thought that came to my mind was beautify your home and beautify your life. And I just, that just resonated with me. And that's kind of my theme here on my channel for this new year. I plan to film not only home content, which is my typical content, but I would like to also film videos of how, um, ways to bring joy to your life, ways to beautify your life, whether it be revamping your wardrobe, so expect to see more fashion tips in hauls, and you know, self-care, whether it be related to skincare or what I eat in a day or fitness, those kinds of topics. And if there's any topics that you would like to see videos here on my channel, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for new content. Um, mixed in with, of course, I'm going to continue with my home content because it's something I'm very passionate about. But if you're new to my channel, and welcome. My name is Kathleen and I'm a wife and I'm also a mom of three kids. I love being a mom and it just brings so much joy to my life. But I have a 15 year old, a 13 year old and a 10 year old, which is crazy to me. I, I cannot believe that my kids are that old. Time just goes by way too quickly. But as I said, I'm very passionate about home decor, but I'm also passionate about fashion. And both my husband and myself, we just love taking on home projects within budget. We're all about saving money. So um, my husband's very much a DIYer and I'm always there to support and give my ideas. And we just are a great team. We love, we love doing projects here in our house. And we have a lot of projects that we plan to take on in this new year. So stay tuned for videos covering those projects and I hope you'll come along for the ride. But with that being said, for today's video, I'm going to share a little cleaning motivation. I'm gonna focus here on my master bedroom. It's gonna be a short and sweet video, but hopefully motivating for you guys and hopefully it will kind of give you, you know, if you're kind of lacking energy today, hopefully it will give you that little kick maybe that you need to get started. Um, but I plan to do at least three videos this week, all related to cleaning motivation. Today will be um, focused on my master bedroom. Um, the next video, I plan to do a deep clean of my master bathroom. The following video, I will probably focus on a kitchen refresh. I recently bought a few Amazon products that I plan to um, do a little bit of organizing and just refreshing my kitchen. So stay tuned for those videos. But again, thank you so much for being here and let's begin. Okay, let's tackle this mess. I'm going to begin by changing my bed sheets. As you can see, my bed is in complete shambles. The whole room is a mess and desperately needed a good cleanup. So I'm going to start by collecting any items that need to be put away and then I'll go ahead and change the bed sheets. So the current bed sheets that I have on the bed are actually my favorite bed sheets to use during the winter time. They are so cozy. They're made of a flannel. I think they're actually a fleece material because I feel like they're thicker than flannel, but they are so warm and cozy. It makes it so I don't even want to get out of bed in the mornings, but I've had them for years and they're starting to look worn and tattered. So I def definitely need to find a replacement set. I've been scoping, scanning Amazon, looking for a set. Um, 
And I think I may have found one that I might pull the trigger on, but I highly recommend investing in some fleece sheets if you live in a cold weather state like I do during the winter months. Um, they are just the best. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's gonna be short and sweet, um, but hopefully it gives you a lot of motivation nonetheless. Next, I'm going to dust my nightstands. I'll start with my husband's nightstand. And usually I will use a Swiffer duster for dusting, but sometimes to give it a very thorough dusting, I like to just use my vacuum wand with the brush attachment, um, just to suck up any of that excess dust and residue. And then I'll go over the glass with some Windex and a microfiber cloth, just to give it that extra sparkle. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and dust the baseboards as well, especially behind the nightstand where, you know, oftentimes dust can collect that we don't see. Um, but I can say that I've done a pretty good job of making it part of my bedroom cleaning routine to also dust the baseboards. It's something that I set a goal last year to, you know, make it a habit to dust those baseboards. And I can almost, honestly say I felt, I actually followed through on that particular goal. Now for the rest of the house baseboards, I can't really say the same, but I definitely improved in that area. I don't know why baseboards are something that's so hard to remember to dust, but if you have not dusted your baseboards, this is your reminder to do so. Um, so once I've finished dusting the nightstands, I'm gonna move on to dusting my floor length mirror and cleaning that. So more motivation to come. I decided to put away this floral arrangement that I had out on this little um, side table. I had it out for a while and I was getting kind of tired of it, so it's time to swap it swap it out for something else. I just haven't found what that something else is, but for now I kind of like this clean look of just the vase by itself. So just continuing on with the dusting, I thought I'd go ahead and vacuum the chairs as well. This is another task that I, I'm trying my best to keep up on just to keep these chairs 
clean and dirt free because obviously they are very light in color and you know dust can set on those chairs as well so I'm definitely trying to keep up on the vacuuming um, so next I'm going to dust my desk and I'm just removing random things that need to go down to the my office um, on the first floor so I'm gonna go ahead and put those um, aside to go downstairs and then I'm just gonna proceed with dusting this tabletop it is surprising how much dust collects in my house I feel like I'm always dusting and yet it's just a never-ending job so just something that I have come to expect now that I will never escape dusting it's always gonna be something that um, will be on my to-do list to kind of dress up this tabletop, I decided to go ahead and put that little olive tree that I have in the corner. Go ahead and put that on the tabletop. And I really like how this looks. It's a very, um, I don't know, just a very clean aesthetic in my opinion. Um, so last but not least, I'm gonna finish up by vacuuming and that will be it for today's cleaning motivation. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my future videos. I actually will be posting another cleaning video on, let's see, today is Wednesday that I will be posting this. And then the next one should be Thursday. It'll be Thursday or Friday, so stay tuned for that one. That'll be another short but sweet cleaning video. Um, and then I plan to post a third one on Saturday. So stay tuned, I have more videos to come this week. And then next week, I haven't decided yet what my theme will be next week, but stay tuned for that because like I said, more videos and more variety coming your way. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next one. Take care.